Most of us might remember George Burns and his wife, Gracie Allen. Remember the TV show and how Gracie always had those scatterbrain lines that made us laugh and still make us laugh on those reruns. In one of her shows, uh, she called a repairman to fix her electric clock. And the repairman came and fiddled with it for a while, then told her, there's nothing wrong with the clock. You just have to plug it in. And Gracie replies, I don't want to waste electricity, so I only plug it in when I want to know what time it is. Well, I think we all know that uh, it's not the way it works, and it's not the way life works either. The first reading today, uh, the words of the prophet Jeremiah, it was recorded 600 years before Christ. And yet, doesn't it sound like it could be describing the human heart today? What did Jeremiah say? This is the people that does not listen to the voice of the Lord. This is the people that does not want guidance and correction in their life. This is the people that does not have faithfulness. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word of God is barely spoken anymore. They turn their backs on God. Now, when we hear those words, most of us listening to those, immediately in our self-righteousness, we say, well, that's not me. It's those heathens that don't go to church on Sunday, or the people who don't pray, or the person who is unable to make a commitment to God or another person. When you think about the Ten Commandments that we heard this past weekend in our scripture readings, it's easy to say, all of us, I'm sure, well, I haven't broken any of those commandments. I haven't taken the Lord's name in vain. I haven't profaned the Sabbath day. I haven't dishonored my father and mother. I haven't killed anyone. I haven't been unfaithful to my spouse. I haven't stolen. I haven't borne false witness against anyone. And I haven't coveted my neighbor's wife's or go wife or goods. But our Lord and Jeremiah might ask us, have you honored God's holy name? Do you pray to God daily and not been ashamed to speak about God to others? Have you kept holy the Sabbath day and gone to Mass every Sunday and truly made Sunday the Lord's day? Have you loved and honored your parents, been kind to them, watched out for them? Have you obeyed your parents? Have you sought to preserve and defend life? to be an advocate for the most vulnerable of our society? When last did you tell your spouse that you loved them? When last did you show your love for your spouse? Have you shared your goods with the poor? Have you taken care of those who need your help? Have you stood by a friend who was in trouble? When last did you put yourself out to help a neighbor, been kind to an elderly neighbor who may need help? or just smiled and said hello to someone. It's surprising how many good people, like yourselves, like myself, people think that avoiding doing things wrong is the high highest criterion of virtue. Jesus offered us a new version of goodness, not merely to avoid evil, that's a good thing in itself, but to do good, to actively do good. That it is not just enough to avoid sin and weakness, we must also strive to do good when we're faced with situations in life that call us to be aware of the needs of those around us. Lent is a time for us to ask ourselves, have we fallen into disrepair again? You know, we're right at the midpoint of Lent. Uh, today is the midpoint of Lent, and like the story of Gracie Allen, uh, sometimes we only plug into a relationship with God when we want to, instead of being plugged into God all the time. Jeremiah received a hostile reception because he criticized the people for pretending to love the Lord, but not showing it in their dealings with others and in their worship and prayer. Their hypocritical attitude and sometimes downright lack of commitment to God bothered Jeremiah. 
Are we also hostile to others, to God's words, when we are criticized for doing the minimum in life? It is difficult for us to receive genuine criticism of our own ways of acting and thinking. Are we committed wholeheartedly to God and to his commandments? If we follow Christ's commandments when we evaluate our life, we should see a life that tries to avoid sin and weakness. Yes, that is a good part. But at the same time, we need to try to do as much good as humanly possible in our lives to do good in word and in deed. So as we continue on this journey of Lent, as we try to be sincere about seeking a life of holiness, let us reflect on how we view the commandments of God and the commandments of our Lord Jesus and how best we can follow those in our daily life.